Hi friends, it's Carolyn Zook with CZX Stitch and today is Saturday, September 19th, 2020. Welcome to my channel about cross stitch. I'm really glad that you're here. Um, I wanted to thank everyone for your really kind comments and thoughts uh, about the wildfires. Um, I am happy to say that in Portland anyway, right now, we are um, good. <laughs> um, our air cleared kind of throughout yesterday. It got significant. I, I feel like yes, cloudy out. I feel like my glasses are on crooked. Um, <laughs> while it's cloudy out, it's um, the air quality is in the good range, um, which is wonderful. Now, the wildfires are still not out. Um, we did get some rain on Friday, um, but they weren't even expecting that it would be enough to put out the wildfires. So that is still an issue. Um, and the smoke is, although it's kind of moving out of our area, it's moving across the country. <laughs> um, so other areas are going to, um, I think, have some smoke. Um, so, um, and I know California and Washington are still dealing with it as well. Um, I know, was it Hurricane Sally that hit um, the southeast coast? Um, so we're thinking about all of you, but I am so relieved. <laughs> it was a very long week and a half um, between the windstorms that knocked out power, and then that's what they think um, started some of the wildfires anyway. And, um, and then from there, it was just we were socked in. Um, somebody on the news said it was like being double quarantined, um, because we are still in Portland, we are still in phase one, which is, um, kind of the, I mean, it's not phase zero, so it's better than that. Um, but you know, we, I'm still not going out to restaurants. I'm still not seeing people. Um, I still get my groceries ordered. Um, sometimes I go to the grocery store, but not on a regular basis. Uh, so we are still in phase one in terms of COVID <laughs> and then... I think kind of the one saving grace we all had was we could still go outside, right? You could still go for a walk or exercise outside. Um, and the wildfire smoke definitely put a hindrance on that. But we are good. And I'm going for a walk after I film this. So I am very excited. Um, yeah. So we are good. So thank you so much for all your kind thoughts um, and well wishes. Um. I had a few questions actually that I'd like to address. Um, haven't gotten through all the comments yet, but some of the, the questions from last week's video, and I of course forgot to write down the names, but I was asked, how am I going to finish spring at Hawker and Hollow? And I'll just show this. This is one of the pieces that I'm working on. Uh, one of four Hawker and Hollows that I'm working on. And this one and the autumn at Hawker and Hollow is the same shape as this. So it has a little border and then it's um, six panels on each side. For this in autumn, I want to make them a wall hanging. Um, so I think it'll be cheaper <laughs> than, hopefully, than framing it. And it will also allow for easy storage kind of in the off season. So it's not something I'll hang up year round. Um, I'll just pull it out for like the spring and summer and then fall, I'll pull out for fall. Um, and this will uh, be really easy. And I think it lends itself well to being a nice long wall hanging. So that's my plan for that. I will probably not do it. I will probably take it to a finisher at Acorns and Threads to do that. Um, and then I was also asked how I'm going to finish Harbor Haven, which I showed last week. I don't have it out here. And that one I am going to frame. I think I'm gonna do um, non-glare glass on it, um, but that one will definitely be framed um, and hung on my wall. And then I was asked where, so last week I showed, well, I'm going to show it um, today, but the Spring Quakers by Rosewood Manor, I was asked where I found the kit. So I talked about how I have the, the whole kit. So it came with the pattern, um, the linen, the Valdani threads. Um, so this was something that um, Crazy Annie's did. Um, they partnered with Garan. Um, Toten Bags, now Garon Stitchery, uh, and this was last year, and so they had, because they had done a sow starting last year, and if you buy everything together, you got 20% off, and you could choose kind of your fabric, 
um, I added on a needle minder because I like everything to be matchy matchy. Um, and I don't know, I'm pretty sure she's not doing the 20% off anymore. I don't even know if she's offering the kits anymore. You, you would need, so she's on Facebook. Um, I would look her up on Facebook and email her, um, to ask if she still can get the kits. Um, I highly doubt they're going to be 20% off. That was just kind of a limited time. So that's how I bought, I did buy all four, um, the summer, autumn, winter, and spring kits. Um, but you can also get them anywhere and you can kit them up yourself. Um, so it's just the, for the sal that they offered as a kit. So, but check Crazy Annie's, um, and, and see if you're interested in that. All right, let's get into cross stitch and what I worked on this week. So no finishes. Had a couple of starts, so one of them, so I just showed you this, is the spring at Hawk Run Hollow. I started on block three, which is right here. It says the flowers appear on the earth. So my goal is to finish that block this month. It's gonna be close, you guys. <laughs> uh, but here is where I got. So this is stitched on 32 count vanilla latte from Be Stitch Me. It's what I'm stitching all of my Hawk Run Hollows on. I love it. Um, I did have to do a little bit of frogging, but we're getting there. Um, hopefully, I think I'm going to be working on it five more days, I think I counted, before the end of September, um, amongst the other things I want to try to finish. <clears throat> so hopefully we'll get it done. I still have a lot of the little, there's a lot of little flowers. So I have the big flowers to do and the words. But then there's also lots of little flowers scattered around. So we will see. Um, but that's where I'm at. I do like it. I, I really like these. They're so fun. There's a lot of stitching in them. Um, definitely each block is a lot of work. They're only 92 by 92, but this one is, is not as full coverage as some of them are. Um, so this one should be fairly easy, but a lot of them are pretty full coverage. So that's where I got on that one. So I will still be working on that one and trying to pull it out again yet this month. Next, on the 15th, I started Beautiful Things by Lindy Stitches. She released this, I think, earlier this summer. It says, oh my darling, it's true. Beautiful things have dents and scratches too. And you can see, you know, there's dirt coming out of the pot, the fence is broken, but I just really, really love it. So <clears throat> I started, this was for my magazine monthly challenge acrostic, even though it isn't a magazine. Um, the acrostic you can do however fits for you, and I didn't want to start a whole bunch. I say that now, wait till you hear my October plans. Um, I didn't want to start a whole bunch for September, um, and so I just threw this in for the acrostic, which... I did finish, this was the L in, so the acrostic for September is leaves. This is the L for Lindy Stitches and the S for Lindy Stitches. And this is where I got to. So I got that flower done and then I'm working on the leaf here. So I just did four hours, I think I did about four and a half hours. My goal was four hours total um, on this. And I love that blue flower, I just love it. It's so pretty. Um, yeah, so this is going to go away for now. My my kind of overall goal on this piece is I want to finish it by the end of next year. So you can see I'm just right up here and I have part of that leaf done. So next year I will be pulling it out and giving it, I don't know, maybe a 10 hour rotation each month till it's done or something like that. Um, this is on 32 Count Outback Jack by uh, Be Stitch. Be Stitch Me, right? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, be situated. <laughs> so it's a beautiful neutral. Um, it's kind of a gray beige, grayish color. Uh, it's really perfect for this particular piece. So we've got that done. And then I worked on Spring Quaker. So this was my whip, one of my whip go draws for this month. Um, and I'm doing 10 hours on each draw. So it, Two pieces are drawn each month, and I, my goal is 10 hours on each piece. So this this is Spring Quakers by Rosewood Manor. This is the, the one I was talking about earlier. 
that I bought as a kit. You don't have to buy as a kit though. You can get, these are still around I think. So you can still get this and it calls for Valdani threads. You don't have to use the Valdani threads if you don't want to. Um, I am stitching this on 28 count Valor Linen by Picture This Plus. And this is where I got to. So I did 10 hours on this. Um, so I'm really happy with the progress. I think last time you saw it, I was I had this kind of started. So I finished up that motif. So this is kind of the bottom of page one. Um, this looks like sun, but it's actually my light. <laughs> um, so I finished that, and then I started the motif that goes out to the side there. And my goal on this piece is to finish it by the end of next year as well. So I'll be focusing on this one. And you can see this is my matching needle miner that they offered. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really pretty. So this is, um, yes, I already said this 28 count Valor Linen. I think it's just, these are just such beautiful, beautiful pieces. So I worked on that. So that one will be called again yet this year. So we'll get another 10 hours on the WIPCO board because I have all my pieces on there twice, or certain pieces on there twice. Um, so it will be pulled out again yet this year before um, I put it away. And then for next year, because my goal is to finish it, I'm actually not putting it on my WIPCO board, which I know sounds kind of counterintuitive. Um, but I'm using my WIPCO board to push progress forward on pieces that are quite far from a finish, actually. Um, and then, you know, I use WIPCO in that way. I'm also going to be setting goals for next year in terms of how far I want to get on each piece. It's pretty um, intense what I have outlined already, so I don't know that I'll meet it all, but it's good to have goals to, to, to strive for anyway. Um, I'm really going to have to up my stitching game next year. Um, but... Whipco will help me kind of push some of those pieces forward. And then I pulled out my temperature tree. Of course, I work on this on Sundays. This is by Stitching Mommy. Um, this is where each branch represents a month and each leaf represents a day of that month. And of course, we are in September, which is this branch right here. Look how close we have come all the way around there. And I don't know if you can see, but here is my progress. Um, I wanted to, I thought about somehow marking, you know, the really smoky air. I don't know if I will or not, um, but I've seen um, on Sitchi Mommy's facing book, fa Facebook, um, some people do mark, you know, a snow day or a rain day, um, and they have different kind of techniques to, to mark certain days, or they have also marked you know, special holidays, like their loved one's birthdays or something like that. Um, so we've been, you know, this is all, I think this is like mid eighties, most of that. And then of course it got really hot up here. Those are, those darker colors are warmer and we've been, you know, back down into the seventies. So we're right about where we should be for fall. So I'll be filling this in, um, tomorrow to get caught up on the week. So that is what I worked on this week. Uh, so it was a pretty pretty productive week. Um, I have just a little bit of haul to share with you. I got my August Threads of the Month Club from Color and Cotton. Um, so I got these, which are really pretty. Um, celery. Lilac. Purple geranium, pumpkin patch, I love that orange, and Caribbean, Caribbean, depending, it's a beautiful color. Um, I am actually thinking after the September one, which I think is, I think we're charged for it pretty soon here in a few days, I think I'm going to cancel, not because I don't love them, they are lovely, lovely flosses, um, but I just... You know, for the most part, when I um, kit up a project, I just buy the call for anyway. What I am actually looking for, and I posted this in my Facebook group, Seasook Stitch. So if you're interested in joining us over there, it's a really nice, lovely group. Um, I asked if anybody knew about a DMC Floss of the Month Club, because really that's, 
probably what I would use more or to, um, you know, kit up um, projects with um, or try to cluck the whole, the whole um, thing, the whole collection. Um, some people mentioned some, but they're not in the U.S. And so, and they were closed anyway, but um, so the shipping would be for DMC anyway. Um, somebody made a mention that, well, if you start one, I will help you with it. And I would be interested. And <laughs> so D, I think that was D that said that. Um, so thank you, D. Um, I don't know that I am realistically going to start a DMC thread of the month club, but you know, let me know if there's a lot of interest. Maybe I can be persuaded. Um, but so I think I'm going to cancel because I don't really, I'm not a good substituter of flosses. I usually just buy what's called for. So I think I'm going to cancel this. It's great floss. I love it. And, um, yeah, her floss is beautiful. And I do still get her linens because I do want to up my linen stash for sure. And then somebody showed this on, I can't even remember what group I saw it on on Facebook, but I ran and bought it. This is a Bothy Thread Kit, or Bothy Threads 12 Days of Christmas Kit. And so you can see it's the 12 Days of Christmas. I think it's just lovely. And it comes with everything. It comes with the floss and the metallics. And there's beads and couching, which I've never done couching. I don't even know really what it is. There's two patterns. So one pattern has just the cross stitches on it. And then the second pattern has the cross stitches, but with the back stitching overlay on it. I'm thinking I'm going to start this in November, maybe. I don't know. Each piece is full coverage. I don't know how long. I mean, it's a lot of stitching, right? I don't know how big each, each piece is. Um, it comes with 14 count Ada. Um, pre-sorted stranded cottons, pearl, metallic gold, needles, bead sequins, stitch diagram, and instructions. And this came from the UK, and the shipping was like $6, and it got here super fast within a week, I think. So it's great. It's currently sold out, I think. Um, our friend Robin kind of missed out. Andrea bought this too. Our friend Robin missed out on it, but it should be back in stock. So check the website. I love it. Um... I think it's just, it's such a pretty aesthetic. Um, so I did get that. So I think I might pull that out in November and start on that. That's really all I have for now uh, for whole. Um, now, giveaways. I still haven't sent out the giveaway. So if you are waiting on a giveaway, I am so sorry. I still have not sent it out. I will try this week. Um, but we had a few giveaways. Um, so first up, we are giving away this Cricut collection. This is called Plymouth Fellows. So it's this cute little bear dressed up for Thanksgiving. And the winner is Carla Makowicz. Carla, I do need your address. So if you can email me at czookstitch at gmail.com, I will get this sent out to you eventually. <laughs> Oh, it has been such a weird life, hasn't it? And then we were giving away this Thanksgiving blessings, and Cheryl Lee, you won this. So Cheryl, um, I have your address, so I will get that sent out to you. Then a lot of you were really interested in this Jardin Privé, Stitch, Stitch, and Forget the Time. It is very cute. Um, and Heidi Selman, Heidi, you won this, and I do need your address, Heidi, so if you can email me. I usually give you about a week um, to email me and then I will redraw um, for somebody else to get a chance. Um, oh, usually I give two weeks, actually. I'm sorry. Usually I give two weeks um, for you to get back to me because um, I know it's hard to keep up with all of the floss tube out there. Um, but two weeks and then I will put it back in the pot and redraw again. And just one giveaway this time because I'm so far behind on sending them out. So we're just going to do one. And this is one from actually Cheryl sent to us to give away. I'm pretty sure this is one from Cheryl. This is so sweet, so cute. This is not a Halloween related one. Um, this sweet princess, Princess Lily, isn't she sweet? I thought this would be so cute if you wanted to stitch it for someone for Christmas maybe. 
Um, it's really cute. It's just the pattern. Um, it calls for 14 count Ada and it it's 150 by 104. And I think it calls, yeah, it calls for DMC. There are some half cross stitches and some French knots and some back stitch in it. And wouldn't it look cute if you could add in beads, you could add in a lot of bling to this. Um, you could add metallic for her crown. You could add in beads. I think it's really pretty, but it's just the um, the um, the pattern is what you get. So if you'd like an opportunity to win this, say princess is the keyword I'll be looking for. So thank you, Cheryl, for sending that for us to give away. Okay, so now I want to talk about plants, and I want to even though we're still a couple weeks away from October, I wanted to go over my magazine monthly challenge plans for October. So if you are not in our Facebook group, um, please join us over there. It's just magazine monthly challenge. Um, if you don't have Facebook, um, I always announce what the theme and the cross stick is um, after the first of the month for the following month. So October's theme is spooky stitches and that can be Halloween related or not. It can be something that scares you to do as well. Um, and the acrostic is ghost. So for acrostics, you try to match each letter and you try to make it fit somehow uh, with the piece that you're stitching on. Now, I just said that in September, I didn't want to start a whole bunch of pieces. In October, I'm starting a whole bunch of pieces. <laughs> um, so let me show you what I'm going to be working on here. Let's see, let me pull out this, okay. So my main theme um, stitch for Spooky Stitches is a Halloween piece, and it's from Just Cross Stitch. This is kind of my prized um, Just Cross Stitch. This is uh, from September, October 2011. I bought it on eBay, got in a bidding war. Um, I bought it, you'll remember, I bought it because Elegant Pumpkins is in this issue. So if you remember, I started this in September. Um, and I'm going to be starting two more out of this magazine. Let me cover up the pattern here. So my main one that I'm going to be starting for October is Witchy Kitty. Isn't that sweet? I think she's so sweet. Um, and so my goal is to start and finish it. I think I can do that. It's 66 wide by 66 high, but there's not a ton of stitching. Like the hat has the most stitching and maybe the moon. And other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Um, so I have, oh, I just dropped stuff. I have what I need here. Um, I have the DMC. I'm, I'm stitching on 32 count pearl gray Belfast linen. Take this out. And those are the colors. I'm just using all called for. I always think, oh, I can pull from my stash, but then I don't even have anything close to it, so I have to buy some anyway, and if I'm buying some DMC, I might as well buy the, all of it. And then I have this little button that goes on it as well. So I will be starting that, and I don't know exact dates when I'm going to be starting these, but I'll be starting the Chi Kitty. And then for the acrostics, so for Ghost, for the G, I, no, not that one. Oh, I didn't, oh, here it is. I will be starting. This is from the Halloween issue of Just Cross Stitch from this year, 2020. I'll be doing down graph, and it fits G because it's designed by Gunye Yuan of Turquoise Graphics and Designs. So very little stitching, some beads, um, I think it's super cute. I actually love the frame that they have. I didn't see where they got the frame, um, but I'm going to look for one similar to it. I like how chunky it is, and it just pulls your eye in towards the piece and makes it look so fun and elegant. Um, so my goal on this one is to start and finish it because it should be a pretty quick stitch. I mean, it's... 39 by 40, but obviously the cauldron has a lot, and it'll take a little bit of time to do the beads. Is that what it's all for? Yeah. 
So I'm stitching it on 28 count country French latte. And I have the colors and they're turned around, but those are the beads. They're pony beads. What are they? Size six glass beads. Um, so they're a little bigger than what you normally would use. So that's my G. For my H, this is not a new start, my H. So this is where I'm starting to think I'm getting in a little over my head. For my H, I would like to finish, this is Halloween at Hawker and Hollow. I would like to finish block one of Halloween at Hawker and Hollow. Now, I don't know that I will because I started this. Um, let's see, this is also on 32 count vanilla latte. This is as far as I am. <laughs> so I have a ways to go. I have a ways to go. But this piece is actually on my Whipco board twice. So I'm really hoping it gets called even twice. That would really help make that progress. And I might have a fighting chance because I can kind of double dip. Um, I can kind of double dip for Whipco and um, a cross stick. So my goal is to get that first block done. There's still a lot of stitching left to do on it though. Okay, so then the O in Ghost is, I'm going to be working on this piece. This is also in the 2020 Halloween, just cross stitch, Happy Halloween. And the O is for the orange fabric. So it's just one color, I think. Two colors. <laughs> it's mascara by... You could use 310. I got mascara by Weeks Dye Works, I think, because I liked a little bit. I just really liked how it looked. They also called for red for the spider eyes, but I'm just going to use whatever I have in my stash for that. And this is the fabric I'll be stitching it on. Bright, bright orange. So about that. So my goal on this one, so Happy Halloween is for O and S and Ghost. O for orange linen and S because it's designed by Stitchy Fish Designs. So my goal is three hours for each of those letters. So six hours total. I don't know how long it will take. It's all one color. It basically just is Happy Halloween with a bat and a couple of spiders and the spider webs. Um, so I didn't necessarily say I was going to finish it because I do think these letters, there's quite a bit of stitching in those letters. I, I know letters typically go fast, but it's also cursive. <laughs> um, so we'll see. Um, but I'm, I'm going to do six hours, which would be three hours for the O and three hours for the S. Okay. So that is what I'm going to be working on this year out of the Halloween Cross Stitch 2020 magazine. Now we're going to go back to the 2011 issue. And this is Kim's kind of new favorite piece that I am going to be starting on. I don't have the fabric yet for this. I've ordered it and hasn't come in yet. But... This is Peekaboo. This is by. It doesn't say. Designed by Deborah Dick of Tempting Tangles. That's right. That's my T. Tempting Tangles. So this is called Peekaboo. I'm probably going to leave the letters off because I don't feel like it needs it. Um, it's really, really sweet and cute. And there's a bunch of cry neck in here. Um. Yeah, so my goal on this is just three hours. I have no intentions of getting it done this year. Um, and can you see the letters, how the smoke spells boo? Isn't that cute? I think it's super cute. Yeah, so there's a couple cry necks, and I'm just, this is just the pattern that I photocopied for my working copy, and then the DMC, and the cry neck. And I'm still waiting on the um, black fabric to come in. So hopefully that will be here in time. Again, like I said, I don't have any exact dates um, set for when I need to start these. Although I will probably work on Halloween at Hawker and Hollow. I will probably work on that um, over Halloween. Um, 
So that's the magazine monthly challenge. And that's on top of temperature tree, whatever whip go. I'm hoping that the Halloween Akron hollow is what it's called. Um, Harbor Haven number 12, so finishing Harbor Haven will happen next month. Hawkwin Hollow spring block number four. I mean, it's a, next month is going to be, and I want to finish Holly Angel, which I'll show you in a minute, which is my um, ornament that I wanted to finish for this year. So I don't know if all that's going to get done next month. I, I do feel very much like focusing on the Halloween pieces. Um... I will focus on the Whipco pieces. Hopefully it'll be the same. Um, I will focus on finishing Holly Angel and I will def the thing that will, I guess it's easier to say this, the thing that will, if I run out of time, is probably Hawker, Spring at Hawker and Hollow. That is probably the thing that will be kind of as lowest on the list right now. I would like to finish it by May next year. Um, right now I'm actually a full block behind, a month behind on that, which I'm hoping to still catch up on. I have a break over Christmas, so I'm hoping to be able to catch up on that. Um, but we'll see. October is going to be a very, very heavy stitching month. So those are my plans for Magazine Monthly Challenge. Um, and then my plans for this coming week. So I am going to do, this was a Jolly July start for me, um, Holly Angel. Um, by Lisa Leanne Designs, and this was in the Christmas Ornament, Just Cross Stitch Christmas Ornaments 2018 issue, and that's what she will look like. I'm stitching this just on a 14 count light blue Ada, and I put in four hours last month, so I'll get her face done maybe so she's not as scary looking. I'm going to do another four hours um, tonight, actually, I plan to work on this tonight, um, and then... And then she needs to be done next month because I have another one that I want to finish in time for Christmas. So, um, yeah, we'll make sure we get her four hours in tonight and then get her done. Um, so she has a ways to go yet, I feel like. You know, I really only have this top part of her dress done, this done, but I need to do this whole other topiary, the pots, and the wide part of her dress. And I haven't decided, I might be leaving off uh, the wings. I know she's Holly Angel, but I, I don't know. I don't love the wings that look like these. <laughs> um, so I think I'm going to probably be leaving those off. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna work on that tonight. I'll be working on the temperature tree tomorrow, just kind of the regular weekly catch up. When I'm just doing the leaves, it takes like half an hour, so it's it's no big deal. I will be starting, so this is for, I was gonna start this anyway this month, for the first day of autumn, which I think is, is it Tuesday or Wednesday? Um, but this is also going to finish up my acrostic for September so again, the the acrostic for September is leaves, and this will be the A and V in leaves. I'll be starting Autumn Quakers by Rosewood Manor. So the A is for Autumn Quakers, and the V is for using Valdani threads. So this is what it looks like. And like I said, Garan hosted the stitch along, and they started this last year on the first day of Autumn. Um, and I'm stitching it on De Bloom, 28 count linen, De Bloom. And I have it in my Garon bag that they designed for the stitch along. And I have the Valdani threads. Those rich, rich colors. And I have the needle minder, which I think is super pretty. Of course, I have the matching grind bar. Of course, I do. So that will start, and my goal is two hours for each letter, so that will be four hours total, and I'll be working on that um, this week. What else? I will continue to work on spring at Hawkrin Hollow, so I think there'll be two or three days this week that I'll be able to work on that, trying to get that done. And then we have our last whip go call for this month, which mine was Hoity Toity. By Long Dog. So this is what it will look like. I am using Jan Hicks 
conversion, which you can find on her website, madforyarn.com. She has lists all her color conversions on there. And so I am using her color conversion more, more or less. Um, this is where I'm at right now. And I haven't worked on this probably in a year. So I'm looking forward to getting that, pulling this back out. This is on a 32 count um, Lugana Silvery Moon. I think it's a Lugana and Silvery Moon. I just love the color. So it's more blues and pinks than the oranges. So this will get 10 hours. I'll probably be in the middle of working on this when I talk to you next time. So we can kind of talk about the progress on that. I need to get fray check or something for that one. And I think, I think that's enough for one week. Um, that is what I'm going to work on. Again, thank you all so much for your very kind thoughts and words um, of concern. I'm so relieved um, and so happy and excited to go for a walk this afternoon. So have a wonderful week. Um, I hope you are all staying safe and healthy. And